Today, we start off with the old saying, a good man is hard to find. And when we meet someone special, we expect them to be attainable and available. But some girls actually like getting ghosted. For example, singer Chloe, <laughs> Chloe Bailey hey. recently visited the Angie Martinez show and revealed a tidbit about her dating life. She says that she doesn't like when a man answers every time she calls. For Chloe, a little mystery goes a long way. So ladies, does it bug you when a guy is a little too available or is it the case of like, you like the chase? Oh, she liked the she liked the chase. Mm -hmm. She like yeah. She like yeah. Hunt. she a hunter. I agree. Uh, that changes as you get older. <laughs> I agree with Chloe a thousand know. percent. A thousand percent. I know, for me personally, the times that I've spent thinking or even pining more about a guy is when I didn't have nothing to do. You know what I mean? Just sitting by the phone waiting for a job to call me or something. We always have something to do. You always have an endeavor you could be pursuing or something. But when you're sitting around, you really do start counting, are you dating right now? How many times has he called me? Am I good enough for him? You start contemplating about dumb things that waste your time. So when a, a busy woman ain't pressed about that. And so I understand that on the opposite side, I want him to be busy too, so I'm like, hey, are you thinking about me? And it just makes me feel, you know, but I like that better. Then I think about, your husband is very, very busy. So when you mm -hmm. guys were dating, for him, Say for yes. him to Keep pick going. up she hasn't said and, it yet. and take your call, uh -huh. that meant a lot. Yes. Because he didn't it have did, to. But I didn't get ghosted a lot. So let's just say he couldn't. Here's the difference. And this actually applies to a rule we have today. If you can't take my call, you never press decline. If you press decline on me, that's a sign of disrespect. So at least just be like, I'm in a meeting right now. All right, I'll call you right back, I'm, I'm tied up. So I think, like, for him to be busy, I like knowing that. Now, when we were dating, we didn't have this rule, because now then, right, right, that's right. something we want to communicate on. But before, if he didn't pick it up, I liked it. I, I agree. No, I, I agree it. too. I like it. I Girls, like a little mystery. I love that my man is booked. I love that he's out there being Me too. I, love, I don't want him to be available what all you the time. Say, I completely disagree. No. I completely you. disagree. And I think there is a difference between somebody actually being booked and busy versus ghosting you. To come oh, completely. No, yeah, no, no, so I want, We're not so saying ghosting is okay. That. And what I will say is, I'm sorry, but if Jeezy sees your phone call and he is available to answer it, he's going to answer oh, the call. Listen to what you just said. Every single time. Listen to what you just said. Said, if he is available, of course. Then that's not ghosting. No, we're no, not, I we're not ghosting talking about ghosting. I think that's playing games. In my opinion, that's playing games. You playing games when you nope. see someone's call nope. and you playing, oh, I don't want nope. them to think it's hard to get. Let me not answer. No, nope. if you are busy with your daughter, do not answer my call. Go handle your daughter. No. If you are busy then doing that's a show, you're busy. then that's, that's not ghosting. That's what we're saying, but, well, we're not, but her thing I isn't ghosting. Thing is She's not saying she likes no, to be ghosted. She's saying. I think that's the wrong word to use. Yeah, that's the wrong word. I think that was the wrong word to use. Yeah, I think ghosting is not it. Don't land on that word. That's the wrong word to use. You don't want to be ghosted. No. But you want a little bit of a challenge. Boom. Not to say that he sees your call and he goes decline. Yes. But I think the fact that if he's not, if he's available every time, then you kind of want to go, hey, babe, what are you doing? Like, I haven't spoken yeah. to you all morning. Like, that's sexy. Yes. I don't want that's him to be available who has a every life. second yes. of the moment. I was just saying. a man who has a life. But in your 20s, in your 20s, you want a little bit more of the change. As you get older, you want him to be a, a little bit more available. But I also don't, I don't want him to be needy. I want to be able to go, babe, I missed you. I didn't talk to you today. For like, sure. Don't call me every second. Wait, but Adrian, if you, why are you calling him for then? I don't, I'm, that's, guys, this what feels like games. What am I calling I him for? I'm no, calling him to say, nobody's hey. playing games. The guy has goals and, and, and a business. Yes, Wait. he's doing guys, things. we want to date a man that has a life. Yes. We understand that. Yes. Yeah, right. When you call him, meaning you actually want to talk to him. Yes. Because what the hell are you calling for if you don't want to answer? But if he can't answer, but if he, he can't calls answer. you, this is so stupid. You would rather him. Wait, okay, let me flip it on the other side. If the man is too, too available, like, where are you? Why haven't you that's called me? That's needy. Right that's needy. Yeah, nobody, nobody wants a needy man. man. That's needy. But that's I sent you an email. You didn't answer that, so I'm sending you a text. You didn't answer my text, so I'm calling you. Nobody wants yeah, that nobody man. Wants that. That's nobody stalking. wants that man. Ooh, Go live baby. your life. Go live your life and, and be busy and booked, and I love it, and make sure that you're still thinking about me and you're making that time for me where it matters. And let me chase you a little bit. That's all. Boom.